Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet. My name is Mary and today we are doing first Thursday of the month. Yay! Get excited guys because yours truly always does. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, I'm excited. <laughs> and today is no different and I'm going to get straight into it because i got a lot to talk about today. We're going to be talking about projects that I do outside of YouTube. We're going to be discussing January's month of January and how well we did and how not so well we did. Do you like that? Not so well. We're also going to be checking out some happy mail. I did get some mail this week, so I'm very excited. We'll be talking about some gifts that I received from some of our subscribers. What? <laughs> um, and we'll also be talking about some items that I did buy throughout the month of January. Um, and I'm not going to discuss the Harry Styles top. For those of you who are joining us new who don't know what that top is, I don't have it with me at the moment anyway. <laughs> we are doing a top just for fun for Harry Styles for no reason, just for fun. And after it's complete, we're going to be doing a tutorial here for any of your male companion friends that you have, or even we can use it as a gender-friendly top as well. So we're not gonna talk about that this week, we're gonna talk about it next week. And finally, I'll be doing some shout outs, and I'll be doing three shout outs this month. I'm not gonna talk anymore, but let's just get stuck in to, firstly, what happened this month? I'm lying. What happened the month of January? Because we're already in February. So the month of January, we started off with doing, um, I did mention that we were going to do some swatches. And we did one, two, three swatches, which I'll show you in a moment. I did put down only two swatches for the month of January. The reason is I calculated um, to have 25 swatches done until November but I calculated two in December as well I don't want to do those two in December so throughout this year you will get your third swatch by the way if you're joining us new and you don't know what this is we are doing a swatch blanket of 2021 that's actually what it's called the swatch blanket of 2021 and what I'm doing is making different swatches of different styles of stitches that um, it will help you learn how to do stitches, but it'll also give you some swatches that we're going to put together at the end of the year and make a gorgeous blanket out of it. How fun is that? This was our very first one. That's just your plain basic double crochet stitches. There you go. And this one here is our very first fillet stitch piece. Uh, that was um, the tutorial number two. And this one here, I only did that one to prepare us for our love heart one. I mean, simply gorgeous. Now that one there, we did um, this past two or three weeks. If you're wanting to do these swatches, I will leave a link to the playlist. The playlist is called the Swatch Blanket of 2021. The very first link you come to in the description box down below. And that is our swatches. So we're up to date with the swatches for January, which is a good thing plus one to get us ready a month earlier so we can actually do the blanket in December instead of doing two more swatches in December. I hope that makes sense. The next thing was uh, our little fridge magnet, our love heart fridge magnet. Did we do it for Valentine's Day? Yes, we did. And that one there is done. It was very, very quick and super easy. It is a one row project that's it it's a one row project can you believe how gorgeous this is and you can give that to your valentines your friend your family member your mother your father your brother your sister give it to the dog well don't do that because he'll eat it <laughs> pop it on your fridge and let everyone see how you made a gorgeous heart for that person so there you go and we also mentioned that we were going to do two interviews now i did do one interview with the lovely Roz from passion flower and this is the yarn I bought from Roz. It's simply divine. I love, love, love. So comfortable and warm and soft. And listen to me, and it's like summer here in Melbourne, <laughs> Australia. That is her label, Passioned Flower. And she, um, we did a lovely interview. And if you haven't seen that interview, <laughs> you've got to go check it out. In the last five minutes, there's a little bit of silliness on my part, as I usually do. And uh, check it out. The link to that interview will be in the description box down below, as will everything I show you today. The second interview was supposed to be Tom from Tandy Farms. That I never completed, but I did send him out an email late last night to confirm a date. So uh, I need him to give me a couple of dates. He's available um, and I'll head off to do the interview with him, which is gonna be pretty exciting. 
Um, anyway, that won't happen till probably mid February, early February, mid February. Oh, we're in early February, aren't we? Mid February. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we'll just say mid February, or whenever he's ready, I suppose. At the end of the day, <laughs> it's a very busy life on a farm, really. Um, <laughs> we also started our sunshine bright blanket. That was supposed to have been finished in January. <laughs> Notice how, mm, uh, oh, oops, oh, get the tub. Oh. And I um, asked you to head off on your own and create some sunburst squares for our sunshine bright blanket. Now the sunburst square, you can get anywhere all over the web. Uh, the sunshine bright blanket, however, is my own design. And that is just the joining of your squares and doing a, um, a border row as well. So there you go. Now, if you haven't finished your squares, don't stress, neither have I. <laughs> so I think this blanket won't be finished until halfway through February, the way we're going. <laughs> and finally, we were going to start a crocheted rug for your floor. Some people use a rug as a blanket as well because it's super thick. Whatever you want to use yours for. Now, uh, I had a lot of problems keeping that rug flat to the ground but guess what i worked it out guys i knew i would <laughs> i worked it out and um there it is that's part of the rug that's part of your rug and you can see it there uh the first part here don't look at that's an error <laughs> i'm gonna fix that myself but this is the actual stitch that you will be starting here the actual rug itself starts off basic with um very similar stitch to making a beanie um, then with a little bit of a, oh, hello, chain stitch in there, pick a boot. <laughs> oh, it can't take me anywhere. But that's, that's uh, the rug, and that is actually the part one of this rug is coming tomorrow. So get excited, guys. Part one coming tomorrow, yay. Um, and that was the month of January. Now, uh, obviously, some of those projects won't get finished until the month, this month. The rest of this month now i won't start anything new until we finished some of those projects definitely we have to finish the rug before then um we will definitely have to finish um, yeah i think we'll finish the sunshine bright blanket listen to me as if i know what i'm talking about yeah <laughs> you like that anyway so that's that was the month of January. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, which I should have done that earlier, projects that I do outside of YouTube, there are a number of projects that you don't always see um, and you wonder why it takes me so long to get something finished when that's all I'm doing. Well, that's not all I'm doing. I do quite a lot of projects outside of YouTube and one of them I'll show you right now. Uh, but before I do, my regulars would already know that I've created a kaleidoscope blanket, a beanie and a pair of booties matching set for uh, a friend of my son. And he was gifting it to his cousin's newborn. And that was shipped off in January. So what I decided to do, a friend of mine messaged me and she wanted the five point star blanket, the beanie and the matching booties. Now I have tutorials for some of these in the description box down below. The beanie definitely and the kaleidoscope blanket. I love that kaleidoscope blanket, was my favourite. Um, but this one I'm going to show you today is the one for my friend because as you know, my son's friend has already got his gear so I'm very happy and he was happy and that's great. This was the booties. I know, so cute. Check this out. Oh, look at the little booty. It's so cute. It's very cute. And the matching beanie to suit. Okay, so I've already done the booties and the beanie. Now I'm in the process of doing the five point star blanket. Now, get this, get this. The other day I had completed 20 rows of this blanket, 20 rows, 20 rows. <laughs> I'm sounding very angry, aren't I? I am, because I found a mistake all the way down in the fifth row. What, what? It put the whole blanket out of whack. This was so curved, I actually had an extra stitch. So it kind of, one side went really curved and the rest was nice and straight as you can see here. And I was angry when I went back and checked it. I thought, oh, I've got one stitch extra, what have I done? I thought, okay, maybe the, the second row and then the third and then the fourth and then the fifth. By the time I was finished, I got right down to the, about the, the fourth row or fifth row it was, sorry. So I had to undo, get this 15 rows. <laughs> <laughs> and usually if it's if I've missed a stitch I can add one and I can make it look okay but 
this was an extra stitch if I took that one undone there and found a way to cut it and weaved it in which can be done trust me can be done I don't do it because I've tried it a few times and I've never liked it <laughs> but a lot of people do and it's okay but I thought mm, I can't do it I have to take all 15 rows undone so since then I've got um, four rows complete and I'm very unhappy with myself so the mistakes you make or I make sometimes take up a lot of your time as well just be wary that that can happen okay oh my little fan just moved I'll talk about that in a minute those are the projects I do outside YouTube that you guys don't usually see now I want to get on to happy mail happy 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 mail I received a letter in my post box I won't show you her address the lady's address but I will show you mine because I've got that there on YouTube as any postage if you are wanting to send me a letter or anything you like in the mail i have left my post office box in the description box down below now this is a little card that angela actually made me she actually created the card oh isn't it gorgeous so she has a little flower on top of a vase yeah and she says hi mary Thank you for mentioning me on live streaming giveaway part two. Being your number one subscriber, she's so funny. <laughs> I have learned a lot. Thank you. Lots of love, Angela. And Angela, you may see her and you may notice her as Ghost Hacker with Scottish Basil. I had to think about that then. But Angela has been one of my number one fans for a long time. She has literally been with the channel way back when we first, not so much when we first started, but around maybe six months into our the start of our channel so Angela has gone way back with us at Wild Crochet now let's get on with some gifts I know I got some gifts oh I'm very excited oh one of them is there I'm gonna pop a picture it's a very tiny so I'm gonna pop a picture up right now <laughs> isn't it gorgeous I like it a lot it says I'm obsessed with Harry Styles says who <laughs> okay well actually if it's not so much the Harry Styles that I'm obsessed with it's more the he wears crochet a lot <laughs> hey I have my priorities right <laughs> so there you go so Karen Beaton one of our subscribers here at Wow Crochet presented me that with a gift when I caught up with her I caught up with her and two other subscribers Kaz as well and Raylene and both of them I'm sorry all three of them caught up with me so that I can give them prizes that they won on the channel so if you're a Melbourneian and you win a prize from Wow Crochet you're lucky enough we might get together and do a little bit of a crochet session and I think I did about I don't know 10 or 15 minutes of crochet and then we stopped <laughs> we just spent too much time gas bagging as you do um, <laughs> <laughs> and on that same day we all I did I think the other ladies had just drinks but I had some breakfast lunch kind of a brunch thing and the lovely Raylene she shouted us lunch or shouted me lunch and coffee and I was very very happy with that and she didn't have to and I thank you so much Raylene for that as well so I have some wonderful subscribers out there I really do happy mail getting together shouting me lunch i can't ask for more than that or breakfast or whatever it was <laughs> i call it brunch because it was like you know past breakfast and close to lunch and thank you so much for that raylene and also raylene was very naughty she brought these guys along is that the right side up no that's the wrong side up these guys along now this is another one of our tim tam packets this one is called morton bay raspberry so the cream inside is raspberry, yummo. And also with that, there was a coffee one, a coffee brand one, but I think there were some mice in the house because that one's gone. <laughs> um, yeah, well, somebody ate them. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> thank you, Raylene. <laughs> and thank you to the ladies for coming out to meet me um, and having some coffee and so on with us. We had a bit of fun on the day. A little bit of gas bagging as you do um and finally <laughs> finally i wanted to talk about some of the items that i bought last month that will help us out on our channel uh one i bought just because it was cute the other things i bought just because i wanted to try it i usually as you know use the clover crochet hooks now i wanted to try just for fun the addy crochet hook 
So I bought this one from Unwind Craft Cafe. It's called an Addy and it's a number four and I usually use a four millimeter for most of my work anyways. But I thought I would try it out. I thought, what you know, it's probably something new and sometimes it's good to try things out and step out of your comfort zone. Let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> and also, I use, as you know, uh, stitch markers on the channel. And I've ever heard someone saying that the Clover stitch marker was the best stitch marker to use. So yours truly bought a pack of Clover stitch markers. Now I'm going to be using this on the channel in our very next tutorial. No, it'll be in the tutorial on Monday because I've already done, um, I've already recorded the rug tutorial. So I won't be using this one. But while I was there, just for fun, I don't know what I was thinking of. I am a button person. For those of you who do know me well, know I like to buy buttons. And I recently bought a button that looks something like this. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a nice close-up. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll pop a picture of it right now. <laughs> How gorgeous is that little guy? And I am going to be making another top for myself soon. And I will be putting our lovely sheep buttons. And I got all this gear from Unwind Craft Cafe in uh, Killor, East Killor here in Melbourne. And I mean, you can get them online. They can get them all online. Actually, I'm not sure where they get these buttons from, but I really really love novelty buttons. I'm a novelty button kind of person. I, you know, that's who I am. Now that's that. What I would like to do, of course, is uh, some shout outs. I want to do three shout outs today and I'm going to get through them as quickly as possible. Uh, the first shout out I would like to do is Rosalie from Yarn It Out. Now Rosalie is, um, she's a very bubbly, bubbly, bubbly little, oh, she's so sweet. I love her videos and I've watched quite a few recently just to see what they were like and she's just so cute <laughs> I really do love her check her out she's um like anybody else we're all starting new we're out there we're doing our thing and go check her out you'll love her you'll love her as much as I do because she's lovable <laughs> as you do um and the next one is Roz from Passion Flower you guys already know Roz because I've done a um uh, an interview with Roz on her farm Passion Flower we have some yarn here get ready this is coming soon we are doing a project with the Roz's lovely yarn and on uh, the interview that we did with Roz which I will leave of course in the description box down below and in that interview we actually designed our own color what and dyed our own color for the channel which she's giving to me as a gift to one of my subscribers and I'll be talking to you about that in the future, that will be part of a giveaway from both Roz and myself to you for watching our interview. Oh, that's very exciting. And so check out Roz's channel. Roz's channel is all about her, her farming life and her creative life as well. So her life on the farm, look, it's very interesting. I love watching it. And so I find myself going all the time, as you do. And the last person I wanted to talk about, and I say last but not least, in a sense that I've actually known, I don't really know her personally, but I do know this lovely lady. I was, um, I think I was in a, um, a live video with her. I think it was her, I hope it was her. <laughs> when, um, yeah, I think it was, when I did a live video with Unwind Craft Cafe. Now her name is Sam, and Sam is, um, her handle if you will, or her name is The Littlest Stitch. Now, Sam has her own um, Instagram following where she does her videos on Instagram, but she's also just recently started doing videos on YouTube. And I believe she's even doing some tutorials as well as just your normal face-to-face uh, -face chat vlog, if you will. So check Sam out. She's um, already established on Instagram. She's hopped over to YouTube as well as still doing her Instagram. I'm assuming she's got Facebook as well. I haven't checked, but check her out on YouTube. I will leave links to the three people that I have um, shouted out to today in the description box down below. That is all I really wanted to talk about. And I thank you so much for watching here at Wow well Crochet. Now, before I go, I just wanted to mention a lot of my regulars would already know that on the Thursday, the 11th of February, yours truly will be doing her 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Oh, I don't want to shout that out because I don't want to shout it in the camera. 
<laughs> I find I do that sometimes. But guys, definitely must be in it to win it. You must be a subscriber. You need to answer the question. It is happening Thursday week, today week exactly. Get excited. Ah! <laughs> And that's it guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you guys already do for me. And all I want to say right now is, ah, ciao for now, bye.